Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, level the bed of your Monoprice MP Select Mini 3D printer. Uh, what you'll need is your 3D printer, obviously, and a piece of paper, normal piece of paper, they say A4 paper in the manual, and then the Allen wrench that came along with the set. Just really quickly, bed leveling is important uh, in order to get a good first layer down for your print. If you don't get a good first layer down, or first few layers down for your print, then the rest of your print is going to be terrible, and it might not even stick to the, uh, to the base. Odds are that your uh, printer head, your extrusion head, is going to be in some random place when you start, uh, when you first turn it on. If you can see over here, this is the this is the menu. I've I've turned into or I've moved into the. There's three menus here, and I'm just skewing it like this because it's easier for me to film. There's the print menu, temperature menu, and then there's a move menu. You want to go into the move menu first, and the first thing we want to do is to home the axis. And this will move as you can see. Everything's moving, and now the laser's going, or not the laser, the extruder's going down. It clicks and then it clicks back again. Now we know that the extruder is at, or the nozzle is at the homed zero, zero origin position for this printer, and now we want to level the bed. And what they say in the manual is that you should be able to slide a piece of paper underneath the nozzle, between the nozzle and the print bed, and have there be a tiny bit of resistance, so you can still kind of feel it uh, when you slide the paper underneath, but you want to be able to actually slide the paper underneath. If I do this right now, I can't I can't, you might not be able to see this, but I can't get the paper underneath the nozzle. So clearly we are, we are too close to the print bed, so we need to level this. And we need to make sure that it's level at all corners and then also a test point right in the middle of the bed just to make sure because really the middle of the bed is the most important because that's where you're going to be, that's where most of your prints are going to be started from. They're going to be centered on the on the bed surface. Now initially when you home this and it and you can't get the paper underneath, it means it's, that the nozzle is like on the print bed. So if you try to move these axes either with the uh, moving them over here or just by sliding this with your hands, which you can do, you'll feel some resistance because the nozzle is going to be pushing down if you do try to slide it like I did the first time I, I homed or uh, the first time that I leveled this bed, you try to slide it manually, you're probably going to do some damage. You'll see an indentation in the tape where the nozzle has been sliding. So what I think that you should do is to take is to go to the Z axis over here. So we're going to go to the Z axis over here, click it, and then we're going to rotate counterclockwise to lift this off a tiny bit. Doesn't need to be a lot, just a tiny bit. And now we can push, I'm just pushing this with my fingers, or you can use the Y axis to move it. And we need to push it away because if this is, when this is over here, uh, when it's homed, you can't actually, when it's homed all the way, you can't actually get the Allen key down to the screw, so you have to move it a little bit. And now to move the bed down, to move the bed down, which we need to do, we need to rotate, we need to tighten this, so we need to do a righty tighty. We're going to move this clockwise, so I'm going to put this in, and they tell you to move it a quarter turn clockwise at a time. So I'm going to put the Allen key in here and we'll rotate about 90 degrees. And then we can come back here and actually, if we go to home axis again, we can click on home axis. It'll do its homing sequence again. It'll hit the limit switches on the Z axis, like so. And we can try again with our paper. The paper still does not slide underneath the nozzle, so we're gonna need to try that again. So I'm gonna go to Z axis again, scroll out a little bit, and then we'll push this guy back, and we're gonna need to uh, scroll this back in, do another another quarter turn. I usually do about a half turn. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. We'll home it again. It's doing a Z thing. And now you can see I can actually push the, the paper all the way in. The paper's touching the board over here. And there's a little bit of resistance. You might be able to hear that. So I can feel the nozzle on the paper kind of pushing it a little bit. And so you might need to play with this a little bit, but I like this height right here. So the question is, it's leveled here. Is it leveled here? Is it leveled over here? What about over here? We need to level all of these uh, portions. I suggest, because you can push this back and forth easily here. I suggest leveling over here first, then leveling over here, because you can just push it over and check the level all along the line up here. And then once you're done with that, then we can shift this guy over, because you can't push this by hand. You're gonna have to use the x-axis, so and it's better to just move it with the motors anyway. So then we'll move it over here and align on this axis, and then we'll just make sure one final time. So I'm gonna move it along the y-axis. I can put the piece of uh, paper. Oops, underneath it, underneath the nozzle like this, and we can move it over here. It's much tight over here, I don't like that, so to change this up, I'm going to 
tighten this guy down. I'm going to put it in, tighten about a quarter turn like so, and then we can kind of uh, put the paper underneath, move it over. You can see that it kind of gets dragged with it. It's still still tight. It's still a little too tight. I'm going to do another quarter turn. Recall that I did a half a turn over here, so I'll do another quarter turn there. And I like the way that that feels over here. Okay, and so now we can do, I'm going to move the z-axis, uh, not going to move the z-axis. If we move the z-axis, then we're going to have to home again. And every time it homes, it homes back to this point over here. So if you move the z-axis up, and then you move it over here, and then you level the bed over here, it's going to, and then you press, and then you're going to have to home it again to get it to the Z level that it's going to start printing at, which means it's going to go all the way back here and then you have to slide it over again. So I uh, think that you should keep it at the Z axis, and if you think that it's going to be, that it's going to start grooving into the tape, you can already rotate these guys down a little bit. So I'm going to rotate it down about a half turn, or about a quarter turn for these guys. I'm going to click the X axis. And now I'm just going to move this guy over all the way over to this side to about here. And we'll stop that. And then we can check over here as well. Now I can move this, I believe, a little bit. Now this is not high enough. So I can go over here and I'm just using the long end now. Tighten it down a little bit. You can try again. And now you can see that the paper is underneath. You can feel a little bit of resistance. You can feel the nozzle kind of uh, push, uh, not pushing on the paper, but kind of dragging the paper. And again, since I turned that one a quarter, these were probably at the same level. I'm just going to turn that another quarter. We're going to bring the nozzle over. I can slide this underneath, bring it over. And there's still a little too much resistance over there, so I'm going to turn this one more, another quarter clockwise and we'll put this guy underneath and I like I like that right there how level that is and now the last one I want to check and you should really go back and forth and check these maybe once or twice before uh, running just because like I said it's important to get the bed leveling right but now I'm going to check uh, we're going to check the move the x-axis not that way the other way and so we can move it to the middle approximately and so this is where the where it's going to start and that right there is pretty good. There's a little bit of resistance on the paper, and so it's pretty much leveled now. So that's the way to, uh, at least the way that I do the leveling on my uh, on my 3D printer. Thanks for watching.